everybody. My name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR format. So if you like perfume and also if you enjoy ASMR, you are in a good place for our video today. And today I'm actually not doing a single perfume review, but I'm just going to be talking about fragrances that I like that um, are somewhat, at least somewhat dominant in the notes of citruses. Um, so some of these are fragrances that I own, which I'm going to go over first. Then there's also um, some bottles that I own, but I'm currently reselling. And then lastly, I've got some fragrance samples that I will show you. Okay, so I hope you like citruses. Um, I really do. And as you maybe have noticed, a lot of fragrances have at least one or a couple citrus notes in them. I did try to pick um, fragrances that have somewhat more prominent citrus notes, but not all of these are super, super citrus heavy. Um, so anyway, these are just the ones I have that are at least somewhat prominent in citrus. First off, I wanted to, um, just wanted to mention, of course, essential oils. This one here is a lemon, as you can see. Um, this one is bergamot. And then I also have this one, sweet orange. I did used to have a lime essential oil, but I think that one ran out a little bit ago. But obviously, essential oils are nice. They're very fresh. These ones are tend to be super affordable. Usually, citrus essential oils are pretty affordable. They just smell so good. They smell so invigorating. And obviously, these are the most natural. So, just wanted to mention those because... I've got those as well. So, first fragrance that I have, this is Versace Versance. And so, um, this fragrance is a very citrus dominant fragrance. It's kind of um, citrusy, woody, green. It is probably of all the fragrances that I'm going to go over. Probably the most citrus dominant fragrance that I personally own. Um, it's just very fresh, bright, kind of woody and a little green and aromatic. Really beautiful, definitely more unisex leaning sort of fragrance, but just like very much a breath of fresh air. It smells kind of like you squeezed a fresh, um, lemon in the woods or something like that. So really pretty. I should tell you with all of these also what the actual citruses are. That would be good. This one has bergamot, green mandarin, and citruses, which is kind of generic. So this has basically a bunch of citrus notes in it. Okay, so that is Versace Versance. Okay, next... This is Chanel Chance Au Fresh. It's a flanker to the original Chanel Chance, which is in the orange bottle. The orange liquid, I should say. This is my favorite of the Chance line. This green one. Oh, it's so good. It's one of my favorite perfumes that I've found of all time, to be honest. So this fragrance is um, definitely got some citrus to it. It's kind of woody and a little earthy. It's got some patchouli. It kind of reads a little bit green to me, and as you can see, it's in a green bottle here, but it has um, notes of lemon and also citron in it. So yeah, super beautiful. Fresh, but also kind of woody, earthy, grounded. It's got a little bit of patchouli and musk. So really nice, really beautiful scent. That is Chanel Chance Oh Fresh. Okay, next, this is 
Chloe Au Naturel. This is a newer release, I think a couple years old, from Chloe and Chloe. Often their scents, I find them to tend to be pretty fresh. Um, this one is sort of a bit of a, a little bit green, but also citrusy. It is dominant in the note of rose and um, I believe the rose for this is like organic or something. Um, so they definitely like tried to do some marketing around that. But this also has a note of citron in the top notes, um, which definitely gives it a citrusy sort of feel. Yeah, so it's kind of like a citrusy green rose. Yeah, really pretty, kind of unique. Probably not something that everybody would love, but I really like this one. So that is Chloe uh, Natural. Okay, next, this is um, by Hermes, and this is called uh, Le Jardin uh, de Monsieur Lee, The Garden of Mr. Lee. Um, this fragrance, well, first of all, look at this cute bottle. It's just a little 15 milliliters, so super cute. So this fragrance is really, really beautiful. It is citrus dominant. That's the main accord that I pick up. It's like a very soft, approachable, peaceful citrus. And it's kumquat. Um, so yeah, a note of kumquat. It also has notes of mint and green sap and jasmine. But I mainly get like a very well-rounded, calming sort of citrus. Um, yeah, just really beautiful, peaceful, kind of unisex again, I would say. Okay, so that is Hermes Le Jardin de Monsieur Lee. Alright, next, and um, these next two are a little bit more, um, I would say, friendly for like fall or winter. The ones that I went through already, I would say, are more so spring and summer. But this one here, Warm Cashmere, I would say this to me like reads fall. Maybe a little bit winter, but mostly fall, I would say. Um, oh, this one is so... I love this one. I feel like this one doesn't get talked about a lot. It's so pretty. And according to the reviews on Fragrantica, this is a... It smells very similar to um, Bal de Freak by Byredo, which is a very, very popular fragrance by Byredo. It might be their best selling fragrance, actually. But anyway, so this is by the brand Clean. It's called Warm Cashmere. Like I said, to me, it's kind of a fall scent, slightly colder weather. It's a very um, musky, slightly woody, and a little bit citrusy sort of scent. Um, I think what I mostly pick up from it is musk and citrus, and the citrus in this case is bergamot. It also has vetiver, which I think I pick up a little vetiver as well. I'm seeing it also has Sicilian orange, so it's got the bergamot and orange. Really pretty fragrance, kind of unisex again. Quite a lot of these I'm noticing are fairly unisex, um, so, yeah. So that is clean, uh, warm cashmere. Just a note, there's one that's called clean cashmere. This one's the warm cashmere. I don't think they're, like, super different, but they're a little different, at least. Okay. Alright, and then again, this is another one that is, um, more of a winter, uh, fall winter vibe to me, and I know this is a sample, but I'm getting a bottle of this, uh, a tiny bottle of this in the mail in the next couple days. I wish it was here now, but it's not, but I wanted to film this video, so. But this one is by Jo Malone, and it is called Orange Bitters, 
orange bitters. The reason that I have this sample is I was at Nordstrom like a year or two ago and there were samples of it that they were handing out so I took one and I absolutely love it. It's not something that I would wear all the time but I could see myself wearing it in the colder weather for sure. Um, it's prominent mostly in citrus, sandalwood, and amber. That's really mostly what it smells like. So it's a really beautiful um, citrus prominent, orange, orange prominent fragrance. Did I say orange? I meant to say orange. Um, but uh, it also has sandalwood and amber. And yeah, on the notes, it says bitter orange, orange, and mandarin orange, and also citruses. So it's basically like got a bunch of citruses, and then sandalwood and amber. So that is Jo Malone orange bitters. And it's not like bitter bitter, but it's not sweet. It's not sweet, that's for sure, but it's not like bitter bitter. Okay, so next, this is another Jo Malone fragrance, and this one is good old wood sage and sea salt. This is a very well-loved fragrance. As you can see, I've hardly, I've hardly used most of these fragrances. It's just like, when you have so many, it's kind of impossible. So this one is an um, aquatic marine type fragrance. It definitely smells kind of like you're walking along the beach and there's like some driftwood and aromatics, aromatic scents. There's sage in it, obviously, and um, sea salt. And the citrus in here is grapefruit and it's not like super, super intense, but you definitely get the citrusy vibe from it. But because of the salt, it's a very rounded out grapefruit. It's not like super sharp. Um, so that's nice. This is another one as well that's very rounded out. The Le Jardin de Monserli. I'm not sure why, but these ones are just very, yeah, not sharp citrus, not quite as like bright, but like very mm, just enveloping. Yeah. Okay, so that is Jo Malone, Wood Sage, and Sea Salt. Staying with the more aquatic category, this one right here is Mac Turquatic. So it's got this fun kind of aquarium bottle, and this one is um, just a very beautiful, fresh, watery, floral aquatic. So the um, Citrus in here is lemon, Amalfi lemon, and it definitely gives it a fresh, um, light aquatic vibe. There's also lotus and watery notes in here. This to me is just a very safe aquatic blind buy, really pretty, and when I first got it, I was like, oh, I don't know, do I need to keep this, but it's just really pretty, so I think I will. It's really nice. And it's kind of soft. It's a little bit soft because I think of the lotus and also orris root. So it's a little bit soft. It's not like super bright or sharp. Really pretty. That is Mac Turquatic. Okay, so we have got... This is... Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, the dominant citrus note in this fragrance is lemon. I don't know if there are any others. No, nope, just lemon. It also has Granny Smith apple and green apple is obviously kind of more tart and so it's not, it's not a citrus but it kind of fits in that same category of like bright fresh fruit. So this is just very fresh summery, beautiful, thirst quenching, but the thing about the intense is that it has more musk in it, so to me this is also a musky fragrance. It's like a very fresh and musky fragrance, so that's like best of both worlds for me at least, so that is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue 
oh intense really beautiful fragrance okay so that is those are all of the bottles that I own that are at least somewhat dominant in citrus notes and then I have some other bottles here that I own but I'm in the process of reselling so I'll show you these this one is Tory Birch and it's just called Tory Birch so it's her signature or original fragrance and as you can see it's the orange bottle um, now this one has been compared to Happy by Clinique. Um, I really like that fragrance. I mean, I don't know that I'm like crazy about it, but I do enjoy it. Um, this one is not like totally the same, but it's in that alley because um, it's it's got quite a bit of citrus. I think it's orange. Let me see. Yeah, it's got mandarin orange and also grapefruit and neroli, which is um, orange blossom. So, yeah, this is kind of like a woody, it's kind of like a woody orange with some floral notes. Um, fresh, uplifting, really nice. I like this a lot, um, but maybe not quite enough to keep it. So that is Tory Birch. Alright, next, this is... This is Joy by Dior. Look at this cute little bottle. Super cute mini bottle. So Joy um, by Dior. This is another fragrance that I would say is a kind of woody, citrusy, bright, fresh. Um, let's give it a smell because it's been a bit... Yeah, just happy, just just fresh, bright, a um, little bit floral, a little bit woody. Yeah, joy makes you happy. Uh, maybe they were kind of trying to go after the like happy by Clinique joy. It's true though, isn't it true that citruses just make you happy? They really do. And they tend to be... Um, yellow and orange and green and to me those colors just evoke happiness you know what i mean like yellow especially i feel like yellow is just such a happy confident color so okay all right next this is called vanille and it's by frank Boclet. Frank Bouclé Vanille. So this is another um, more cold weather sort of vanilla citrus fragrance, I would say. A lot of these are more so for like spring and summer, but this one is definitely more so for like fall winter. So this is dominant in vanilla and citrus. Um, trying to remember what the citruses are. Oh yeah, this one's got lime and grapefruit. So Hmm. Yeah, and it's a little bit spicy because it's got notes of ginger and cardamom. So this is kind of like a fun, interesting, unisex, citrusy vanilla. Not quite for me, not quite something I would wear, but definitely a nice fragrance that I can appreciate. So that is Frank Bocle Vanille. Right, okay, next. This is Amour Amour by Casherelle. It's got a little rose on the back. This fragrance has been around for quite a while. Let's see, 2003. Um, and this fragrance is, I really like it. I debated if I wanted to keep it. I don't think I do want to keep it, but. It's fruity, it's got quite a bit of vanilla in it, and it's also got quite a bit of citrus in it. Um, it's got orange, mandarin orange, grapefruit, and bergamot. The citrus is not like, bam, it doesn't hit you in the face, but it's definitely um, pr 
prominent. I also do get, with the vanilla, I also do get a little bit of black currant. It's kind of like a fruity, citrusy, vanilla sort of fragrance. Definitely sexy. I would say more so fall and winter or nighttime, but not super duper heavy, but you know, a little warmer and sexier. That is Amour Amour by Casherelle. Okay, and then last bottle that I have, and again, this is another one that's more so fall and winter, I would say. This is CK Calvin Klein Into You for her. This has got this fun sort of water bottle. Um, and this fragrance is a um, vanilla green, little citrusy, little woody sort of fragrance. Um, they have citrus listed as the main accord, the first main accord. To me, I smell vanilla a little bit more so, but it's a little bit vanilla, a little bit citrusy, a little bit green. Just really sexy, fresh, sexy, a little bit unisex. Um, I really like it. It's a nice mix of like vanilla and um, a little more green and aromatic and fresh and citrus. So that is Calvin Klein in to you. Oh, and the citrus in here is pink grapefruit and Sicilian bergamot. Alright, so moving on, I was going to show you some samples that I have. Um, so the first one that I have, this is by Maison Francis Curtishon, and this is called um, Aqua Universalis. This is a pretty well-known one by Maison Francis Curtishon. And this one is just, actually, I'm going to give it a spray because it's been a bit since I've smelled it. Mm, this is so nice. This is very fresh. Almost reminds me a little bit of Clinique Happy, but they're not side, I can't smell them side by side, so it's a little hard to say. But it's just very fresh. It's also got white florals. So it's a little bit sharp. It's also got some musk in it. So um, yeah, just really, just really pretty, um, fresh, kind of laundry-esque, clean, bright sort of scent. So that is Aqua Universalis by Maison Francis Curtishon. Okay, next, this is... Aqua Celestia Cologne Forte, again by Maison Francis Curtijon. Um, so there's just a normal Aqua Celestia, and this is the Aqua Celestia Forte. I don't know if I've actually smelled this one, so let's give it a spray. So this one is interesting because it, you definitely get the bright, crisp citrus, but then it also has black currant, so it's like this syrupy, sweet, fruity. So it's kind of interesting. It's got like both of those, where it's like syrupy, sweet, fruity, and like bright, crisp, and fresh. And yeah, just interesting, different. So that is Aqua Celestia Colone Forte by Maison Francis Curtishon. Okay, I've got one more by Maison Francis Curtishon. This one is Aqua Vite. I'm gonna go ahead and smell this one too because it's been a bit. I've smelled it. Mm, this one's really nice. So this is definitely, again, citrus dominant. It's got lemon and mandarin, but it's also kind of woody. It has guyac wood 
and tonka bean and vanilla. So it's kind of like warm and woody and a little vanillic. It's also got um, some white florals. So yeah, pretty. That is um, Aqua Vitae by Maison Francis Curtijon. Mediterranean Honeysuckle by Erin Wilder. So this one, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a spray. This one obviously has honeysuckle in it. And it also has citrus. So mm, this is so pretty. It's so pretty. It has grapefruit and bergamot in it. And it's also got honeysuckle and a few other white florals, so very fresh. Again, one of those ones that's a little bit like Clinique happy to me. Very fresh, um, nothing at all like woody about it, just bright and just bright and happy. Very springtime, summertime. Okay, so that is Mediterranean honeysuckle by Erin. Okay, so next, this is Versace Dylan Turquoise. And let me go ahead and spray this one, because it's been a little bit. I know this is like an aquatic fragrance. Hmm. Okay, so right away, I get um, citruses and fruity, and I also get a little bit of a woodiness. Um, I can see that it has clear wood. I'm not sure what that is, but it has clear wood and also cedar, and it has lemon and mandarin orange, and it also has guava, so kind of like a fresh aquatic and fruity fragrance, but also a little bit, um, musky and woody. So that's nice. That is Versace Dylan Turquoise. Okay, and then this is another Versace fragrance. This is Versace Eros Pour Femme. So Versace Eros is a very um, popular men's fragrance. And then this is the Eros Pour Femme. If I recall, this is a, um, let's see, it doesn't have vanilla listed, but it almost smells a little bit vanillic, but it has, um, lemon and also bergamot, some white florals, and some woody and musky notes. So it's a little bit dominant, I would say, in, um, citrus florals and woody notes. So it's pretty, um, yeah. Not quite something, I don't think, something I would wear, but it is pretty. Alright, next, this is Bulgari Eau de Vert, which means green tea. Um, I'm gonna spray this, because it's been, been a little since I've smelled this too. But essentially, this definitely has a note of green tea. And it's just very fresh. Oh, and this one, to me, is kind of spicy. Yeah, it's almost like a fresh spicy. But anyway, the citrus in here is um, bergamot and lemon and mandarin orange. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know what's causing it to feel so spicy, but it's got coriander. Maybe that's part of it. But yeah, so that is Bulgari Eau de Vert. There's also, of course, if you've heard of um, Elizabeth Arden Green Tea, which is kind of similar to this. Okay, next, this is another Tory Birch fragrance, and this one is called Belle Azure. Belle Azure. I believe this one has um, bergamot, and this is a very like 
fresh, kind of summery, aquatic fragrance. Mm -hmm. So this has bergamot and also neroli. So it's kind of got a little bit of a like fresh green citrusy vibe. It's also got um, cedar, vetiver, and peony. So yeah, just very bright, fresh, invigorating sort of fragrance. So that is Belle Azure by Tori Birch. Alright, and then this is a fragrance by Bond number no. 9 and it's called Nolita. I used to have a bottle of this and um, I sold it and let's see how much I regret that. I sold it because it's ex it's a very expensive fragrance and I was like, oh geez, like I could I could like sell this and make a good amount of money and buy cheaper fragrances. Um hmm. it is really nice. It's very, very um very high pitched. It's like very up here, but it's a little bit musky as well. I definitely get something very bright, so it's like kind of citrusy and white floral, but it's also got, it's kind of grounded with a little bit of um, musk and sandalwood and amber. Yeah, so that's really nice. I kind of miss it. Really pretty, floral, bright, girly fragrance by Bond number no. 9, Nolita. And then I've got two more samples for you. This one is by Judith Lieber, which is a brand that I feel like is not talked about a whole lot. It's also like a very affordable brand. I don't know who Judith Lieber is, so forgive me. But these are affordable fragrances. Um, this one is called Ruby. And this one to me... This one's just really pretty. It's simple. It's a little bit fresh, floral, a little bit fruity. Um, but yeah, it's just got, uh, let's see, it's got bergamot and then also mandarin leaf. Um, and then it's got a bunch of florals, quite a bit of white florals. It's just simple but fresh and a little bit bright and citrusy. So that is Judith Lieber. Ruby, and again, this is pretty affordable. I bet you could find it for like $25 online. And then this one's also fairly affordable, probably not quite as cheap, but this is called uh, Anna Sui. Um, and this one's called, I think it's called Lucky Wish. I know it says like Secret Wish and Lucky Wish, but I think it's the Lucky Wish. Anyway, so Anna Sui. Um, I think Anna Sui is a fashion designer who also does perfume. Um, this one is like extremely citrusy. It is like very, very bright. It's very high pitched, very fresh. Um, it's got notes of iced lemon, tangerine, and pomelo. So it's got three citruses and yeah, it does smell just like, yeah, kind of does smell iced, like it's kind of like cool, bright citrus. It's also got some florals in it and a note of bamboo. Really pretty, and I like can't decide if I love it or if it's a little bit too intense and like annoying for me. Um, but I kind of like it. I kind of almost want to get a bottle. So that is Anna Sui, Lucky Wish. Okay. Alright, everybody. So those are all of my citrus fragrances. Again, not all of them are like uber citrusy, but they're all at least somewhat dominant in citrus notes. Um, I really do love 
citrus notes. Um, I find them to really freshen up and brighten up fragrances and especially for this time of year. I thought this was a good time to make a video for citruses because it's spring and before we know it, it's going to be summer, which is my favorite time of year. Does anybody else love summer the most? It's my favorite time of year. Um, I wish it was summer all the time. Maybe not all the time, but I would be okay if it was summer all the time. Alright everybody, so thank you so much for watching this video and um, I'm just wishing you all well, sending you all some peace and love and joy. Um, you take care and I will catch you in a video soon. Okay, bye.